All right, guys, so today what we're gonna show you, we've had question, it's on the website, and we don't talk about it a ton, but is how you use our blooming gel. So today, we're gonna explain quickly what it is. So what blooming gel is, it's basically just a way to do art with a gel polish. Um, and it can do two things. It can create a fun little marbling effect. It could do some designs. And then a lot of people will actually make roses out of this as well. There's a lot of YouTube videos on how to do that. So today we're just gonna do a simple marble effect and then show you what you would need. So you would get your nails completely done. You would find a gel polish of your choice. We're gonna use this really pretty chinchilla purple um, that we actually bought from iGel. And then we have Snow Day that we used for the dip powder nails. Uh, we, we first uh, did the cuticles, cleaned the nails, got the nails all built like we typically would uh, with white and they're all ready to go. So from there, you could use something to put your color on. You could actually use like a plastic or today we just put it on a napkin, um, your gel polish on there. I'm gonna make sure we have enough. All right. Then you're gonna need some sort of brush or a dotting tool could work. It doesn't necessarily have to be this. It could be a dotting tool as well. Um, and then you're gonna grab your blooming gel. Look at how pretty those are. All right, so we'll show you what you do. You grab your blooming gel and you're literally just, make sure you wipe it off, especially if you just buy it, it's gonna be drowned everywhere. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and just polish it over the entire nail surface. This just has something in it that helps bleed or create that design. Then from there you get to have fun and you can just decide what kind of design you like. So I'm gonna do some little swirls. So I'm gonna come in here like this I'm going to come up and it doesn't just work right away. It starts to bleed through the nails after a little while. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it like that. And then we're going to continue to work on the next one and that'll start to just spread throughout the nails. So we'll do at least two more with you. So remember, make sure you wipe off that brush really good. You can also do multiple colors. We, um, Elsa, would, she wanted a really soft, you can see this one right here. She just wanted a real soft design. Um, and so even though it looks like this, it'll continue to spread. Um, so she did not, but you can add glitter on there once you're done and you can do multiple colors if you wanted. But she, like I said, she just wanted a nice little soft so I'm gonna to try to make this one spread just so it's not too much color. Dun, 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 into a little swirl. Try to give it some different designs. All right, we're gonna leave that one. One more. A nice brush bottle so like I said always remember to wipe and then just decide how much you want to stick on the nail so I don't need as much it actually spreads quite a bit so I'm gonna to try to go a little lighter because I don't want it to get too dark and then I'm just gonna kind of go and then make a little tiny swirl at the tip okay so we're gonna let that as you can see it's not done yet so we're gonna let it just continue to sit once we're ready and we decide we like as far as it's spread out, then we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the light for 60 seconds to cure. So for now, we're actually just gonna wait. All right, so we just let we just waited here. I would say we probably waited for about three minutes. And then what we did on the side is you either, I could see it was uh, piling up some color. So I just gently got the brush and it just helped open it up so it spread more. Now, as you can see, it has this cute marble effect. So we're gonna put it in the light for 60 seconds. All right, so we just took it out of the light for 60 seconds. I want you to just see. So now it's got this really pretty marble effect. It literally just happened within a few minutes and you don't even have to wait the few minutes we did. We just really wanted it to spread more. Um, and now that we have the marble effect we looked for, we're gonna use the Sendera top coat, non-white top coat and protect our pretty little work here. All right, 
So once we're done with the top coat here, we'll go ahead and stick this in the light for 60 seconds, and then we'll come back and show you the final result. All right, the final product is all done. All right, again, so that was pretty easy. So we use the blooming gel. This is what you do to apply. You use your gel, a color of choice. And then as you can see, it creates a really, really pretty marble effect. All right, guys, thank you for watching again.